Well, some new major developments tonight in Shelby County's ongoing efforts against COVID. One of them, an updated health directive that will go into effect Saturday. Good evening and thank you for joining me tonight. I'm Katina Rank and my co-anchor Richard has the day off. Now, the good news is that this new health directive will ease certain restrictions. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders explains what guideline change we can all expect. We've plateaued and actually are showing a downward trend. With Shelby County COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations dropping from a holiday peak, Shelby County Health Officer Dr. Bruce Randolph believes it's time to loosen certain restrictions in the next health directive, which takes effect Saturday. This directive placed a lot of emphasis on personal responsibility. Health Directive number 17, which will be released in full Wednesday, increases indoor dining capacity from 25 to 50 percent, even though restaurants must still close at 10 each night. Live entertainment is again permitted with social distancing, but indoor smoking remains prohibited. We've all done this. It's been very difficult work. But I want to reinforce there is still much work ahead of us. We have a long way to go before the pandemic is over. In addition to the new health directive, Shelby County Health Director Dr. Elisa Householder anticipates the new presidential administration will assist in making the weekly vaccine supply from the state more plentiful and predictable. The state is looking at opportunities to do larger vaccine sites in partnership with us once we know the Biden administration's plan for increasing supply. If the weekly amount of vaccine doses do expand in February, health leaders plan to add additional mass vaccination sites to complement the Pipkin building in Midtown Memphis. We have some contracts in process so that we can have more sites throughout the community. We're also looking to uh, be able to offer vaccine at our commodity site for seniors. Shelby County health leaders are keeping a running list of those eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine to come in on short notice if any appointment slots open in the coming days and weeks. Reporting at the Shelby County Health Department, Brian Broders, Local 24 News. News is committed to getting you all the information you need about local vaccinations from what group you qualify for to where you can sign up for an appointment. And if you want that information in the palm of your hand, well, just text the word vaccine to 901-321-7520 and we'll send everything you need to know right to your phone. Again, text vaccine to 901-321-7520.